and that's how we'll have it. So it says over medium high heat, which is what I have. I'm gonna go ahead and slice up the name. I'm doing a crock pot pork chop crock pot meal and I almost didn't bring you because it's so simple and I don't have my lot behind me but um, it might give you some ideas I bought these pork chops it's 2.26 pounds for two nineteen a pound a while back they're called Cowboy cut ribeye pork chops, oven ready. But I'm doing, doing them in the, uh, what do you call it, <laughs> crock pot. Because they're a thicker chop. Yeah. I'm, I'm starting to drip. I thought I'm out in the refrigerator last night. And when I get my pan heated up and get ready to put the olive oil in, or, uh, Get ready to uh, sear them on both sides. I'll bring you back. I'm actually getting this recipe from a uh, recipe online, and I'm loosely using it. I'm going to put just enough olive oil in there so we can uh, sear the pancakes on uh, pancakes. <laughs> the pork chops on both sides. Also, I'm going to be using one cream of chicken condensed soup. It actually asks for three-fourths of a cup of a, uh, beef uh, broth. But, and they say it makes it tastier. I don't know. I'm just going to use one of my, got the wrong one out. One of my Goya chicken bouillons. And I'll put three-fourths of it in. But I'll bring you back for that. And it also asks for mushrooms and onions. I believe my pan's just about ready for my pork chops. So I'm going to try to really stay focused. If I had been baking them, I actually get them at United Grocery Outlet like this. I could have baked them right in the foil pan they put it in. And like I said, since they're seasoned, I didn't need to add any seasoning. Oh, no. These are big. I may have to look there. They're so big, they're covering the pan. This is going to make us at least two to three meals total. Because I will cut pork chop off the bone. I guess I need slice it and that's how we'll have it so it says over medium high heat which is what I have I'm gonna go ahead and slice up an onion and I'll be back it's asking for the sliced onion and mushrooms to uh be layered on the bottom of the crock pot. So I'm just cutting these onions fairly thin. And I'm just going to lay them right in the crock pot as is. And then I'm going to drain my mushrooms. I don't have fresh. I very seldom buy fresh. When I found this recipe, it kind of... Uh, Changed my mind about exactly what I was going to do today. Which happens to me a lot. Does it happen to you all a lot? I'll bring you back when I get ready to turn my... Well, I'm almost ready to turn my pork chop. Boy, those pork chops are big. Yeah, they'll... One chop is at least a pound, which is enough meat, really, for me and Kenny and Eli. We might have to 
go into the second one and then I can use the other one for another meal. It's been three minutes. They say if it sears well enough, it should release pretty easy from the pan. And it did. So now I'm going to turn it over. Can you see it? That's pretty looking. So I'm a, I better go ahead and get the mushrooms in here because I'll be putting the, uh, I will be putting the uh, pork chops next. I found some of these mushrooms. Namico mushrooms. I'm not sure. I forget even where I bought them at. Either pro looks like either the Dollar Tree or Big Lots sells this brand. You go not. Yeah. These, ash, these mushrooms might disintegrate. I've never had these before. They have like the stem and all. Maybe y'all know what kind of mushroom they are. But I'm sure they'll make the gravy good. And if they disintegrate, then Kenny won't have to have too many of them. And it says, I think two cups or a cup. Like I said, I'll link the recipe. But I think I'll just uh, leave it like this for us because, like I said, my family doesn't like mushrooms. But I want to put a few in. And while my pork chop's working on it, I need to put my bouillon in here. And this is the bouillon that's still kind of clamp from being over the stove and even though it's clamped from over the stove I keep leaving it up there I doubt the moisture will come out so I'll just put it in here and I'll bring you back my second chop's almost done it's a good thing I kind of looked at it again because it was asking for a cream of mushroom and a can of cream of chicken and three-fourths of a cup beef stock, but I'm using three-fourths of a cup of this. Not all of it, three-fourths of a cup for uh, the recipe. Cooking totally out of my pantry today. Not buying anything. Using what I have. Got the chops out of the freezer. Bought them at Hugo a few weeks back. It says to cook it on low for seven hours. But you, as you'll see, my time's never right on here. I'm not sure. If I, I, I think I'll start it on high. I don't know. I think I'll leave it on for seven hours. We'll see. This is how I cook. We're back. I've got the second pork chop seared. And I'm gonna put it in here. It, this is almost like four regular pork chops. It really is. But now it's telling you to take all your soups, your can of cream of mushroom. And I'm putting the mushroom the cream's in first because I know that water would really, because they want you to deglaze the pan with it. I, I'm going to turn it down. I turned it up. 
and three-fourths of a cup of broth. Believe it or not, these cream seats come out really good. Not much scraping. But anyway, we're supposed to get all the little bits and chunks and all that that's in here out. I'm going to smooth it out a little bit. I say it'll smooth out more in the uh, crock pot. Because this is to make a gravy with the onions and the mushrooms that are on the bottom. So I believe I've got it deglazed. I'm just going to take this and pick it up and pour it all over the pork chops. I'm not exactly sure how long these are gonna cook because they are really big. Let's see how it tastes. That's good. I'll uh, lower you down so you can look in it. I'm going to put the lid on it, turn it on, and I'll bring you back when it's done. And this is my pork chops. Look. Put the lid on. I believe I'm going to cook mine on high because I really need them to get done sooner. But I will tell you how long. But the recipe says about seven hours on low. So I'm going to scoop my crock pot back and I'll see you in a few hours. Well, I'm back. It's about five hours later. And I did decide to cook it on slow because everything I researched said slow is better and more tender. It's been a little over five hours. I did cover my crock pot today with a uh, towel because it was fairly cold outside and I'm trying to Make sure it gets done in time. You can see, even with my lid on and up against it, how much steam it's releasing through the towel in the five hours on low. But, and even if it's not ready, Eli's ready to eat. So I have green beans that I use the other quarter cup of uh, chicken broth. I drained the green beans. It was one of the regular size cans, and I just cooked cooked it all the way down. You see there's just a tad of broth left. I took it off the ice so I wouldn't burn it. And then two cups of five-minute microwaved water made these potatoes. I used one of these. I think I hauled it maybe from Walmart. All I had to do was add two cups of water. It's blended with sour cream, cheese, onion, and chives with the taste of butter and bacon. I figured that'd be great with that gravy. So, I've got my meat thermometer out. We're going to take the lid off, let you look at it, and then we'll test the temp on the inside of the pork chop. How's that? Hope I have you wet, angled well enough. I've been smelling it for a long time, but like I said, that towel's really wet. And I've been anxious, but I try to keep from it, so here we go. Oh, it smells great. I'm gonna take my spoon that I uh, stirred my beans up with and check do that. They say your pork chops are done at 175 degrees. And yeah, I had my thermometer laying out. I'll be right back. I covered it up with the towel I took off. I did not open it during those five hours. I wanted to make sure it had as much heat as I could give it. 
And I'm just going down the center of this pork chop. Yeah, it's done. It's definitely done. It says 190. <laughs> Might be overdone. And I, like I said, I just did medium. Let me see. It's kind of weird because, yeah, 180, 185. So it's time to take them out. And I thought I had my... I'm going to have to find something to take them out. You'll laugh when you see what I'm using to get them out with. <laughs> One of my big spatulas. Look at that thing. Let me get the other one. It says you can thicken your gravy with the roux if you think it needs it. I really don't believe this one is going to need that. I don't know if you can tell. Look at all that goodness. I can kind of, with Elon Kenny, I can kind of move the onions and the mushrooms over for me and just give them the gravy. That's one thing I like about this kind of meal. So I'm going to put the lid back on this and bring you down and show you how it slices. All these pork, although these pork chops have bones in them, they were still two point uh, two six pounds. So one pork chop should just about make a meal for me and Kenny. Look at those bones just coming off. But what I'm going to do is look how that look. It's just slicing. Look at that. Probably not cutting the. <laughs> The right, the way of the grain. See if it, it just tears apart. Look there. So I'm going to plate some up and I'll show you what the finished plate looks like. And I'll taste it. Even though I'm going to taste it now too. Hope you can see my plate. I've got uh, the mashed potatoes and gravy. No need to thicken. My green beans. I did not put any extra gravy over my potatoes, but you see what I'm saying with the gravy? I can just put Kenny gravy without the onions, and I'll be more than happy to take the rest. So, I'm going to take a bite, and then I've got two more plates to plate up, and I'll show you how much pork chop I have left, maybe in another video. I'm going to I know the pork's, I know this pork chop's good. Why do I know it? Because I didn't eat a bite. I'm going to eat a little bit of all of it together. You see how hot it is. Fall apart good. You can tell it's getting late and it's dark. And I've got different lights on and it's still very good. I hope you try this. I'll link uh, the recipe I bake, uh, based it off of. You can tell I'm tired. I've got two more of these plates to fix. And I'm going to sit down and enjoy. But you can't miss out on a meal like this. I'm cooking from the pantry. And until next time.